Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 20th video of our newly created technical series, which is the ServiceNow and JavaScript, where we are clearing our fundamental concept of JavaScript. We are learning different things like different data types, if else statement, operators, also like array, for loop, while loop, and many more thing, right? So these are the concept which would help you in future to learn about the, you know, complex programming in JavaScript as well as if you are moving for ServiceNow development because the next series I'm starting is ServiceNow development. So this concept will help you a lot in solving the, you know, situation which will come in uh, in our development series. So make sure you watch the full series to clear your concept. Also, I'm doing a coding exercise for all the members of my channel. So if you want to part of it, you can join my channel. There's a very minimum level of subscription is there, right? Okay, so let's not talk too much and let's start the class. All right, so you know this is my Visual Studio Code environment and on the right hand side, I have the uh, Chrome console where we see the output. So in the last class, that is the class 14, we have understood two very important statement in JavaScript language. One is the break and another one is the continue. And I have informed you how important both of these statements are and how differently you can use in your programming based on your requirement, right? And I've also given such example where you can use break and continue. So if you missed that video, guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen, right? So today in class 15, what we are going to learn. So by the name of the video, you would understand that we are going to learn three different concepts. So let me quickly make it comment. And in the class 15, we are going to learn about three different things. Okay, I have to make it comment. So first we will learn about the while loop. Okay, we have learned about the for loop and we will learn while loop. Then we will learn for in loop. And finally, we will learn for off loop. Okay, so we have learned already for loop, but the for in loop and for off loop is very, very powerful and it helps you a lot while dealing with array and objects. And I would discuss about more. Uh, so make sure you watch the full video. And also while loop is very, very important. Now, before I start with the while loop, uh, with an example, maybe. So all I want to say is that a same problem, even I told you uh, in the last video also, so a problem can be solved by different methods, okay? So the more way you know to solve a problem, it would become more easier for you to deal with this, right? So you know that if some uh, some method doesn't work uh, at the moment, you can use other method or some easy method that you know, so you can use it to save some time, right? So this is what we are going to do today. So let's do one thing. Let's do, uh, let's create an array. So maybe I'm give, the name of something like uh, let edge and then I will store the value like uh, 15, 20, 26, 28 and 30. So this is my array, right? So now how by using a for loop, I can print each and every elements of the array so that you know uh, we can use for and then I declare let i equal to zero because in array it starts from zero. And I less than, uh, what I do is that the length of the array, so h dot length, okay. And then i plus plus, i is incrementing obviously. And then here I'm printing console dot log. And here I'm doing it like h and then i, right. And if I just uh, run it, you see I'm getting all the elements of the array. Right now, the same thing I can achieve also with the help of while loop. So just to tell you quickly before I show you the while loop. So first uh, we initialize the value of I, then we check the condition and then the increment happens. Right now, if I want to solve it uh, with the while loop, the same problem. So I'll make a console dot log here just to, uh, you know, differentiate it. The output is coming from while loop. So in while loop, the main criteria or the main important thing is the condition. So we start writing while loop by typing while and then we put the condition here, whatever the condition that we are looking for. So if age dot length is this is the condition. So age. So while why what we declare I 
that is the less than age dot length so the same thing same condition i have used in for loop also but in while loop the structure the way of writing is different so first we declare the condition here and inside of it we uh, do the job whatever we want to do so we were going to do console.log and here we are going to put h and then i same kind of thing and now here we do the increment so this is the structure but you may ask me pritam where is the initialization so we can initialize it here or we may not based on the situation so this is the example where we need to use uh, need to declare the i but in some cases especially you will see in service now so while dealing with uh, database classes like glad glide record is one of them uh, very popular and we are going to use while loop while uh, gr.next something like that so you would find that there we don't need to in initialize the value of uh, you know the variable there right but for the sake of this example uh, we are going to declare the let i equal to 0 otherwise the array won't start from 0 so okay first i will just replace i equal to 0 and i'll show you what happens so if i just refresh it you see i is not defined so maybe i'm going to define i here inside of the bracket i hope i can do that so you see nothing is coming no result is coming why because the loop is not started we, did, we didn't mention the value of i is now undefined we have not mentioned any value of i right so what we need to do we need to declare it i is equal to zero that i starts from zero and you see we get the same result so this is from the for loop first and then you can see it's coming from the while loop so you see with the by using while loop also we can uh, do iteration so this is another way of doing iteration so what i'm going to show you is that we have this example we are using it a lot so this is a kind of a function calling function thing and we are using it while showing you array and for loop example so now we will solve it with the help of while loop the same thing we are going to do so i will make this as comment for the time being so you can see the output is 3128 that's a new array so again this example so i've already explained in the you know in the looping uh, you know loop, looping with array in the example of that what i'm going to do here is this is the array has declared birth year and we are using a for loop here right and now we are not going to use a for loop instead of that we are going to write a while loop uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to replace this for and i'm going to write a while and here again i'm telling you whenever you know the initialization value and the condition and incremental or decremental each and every information you should use the for loop at any way in while loop while when you don't know the condition okay then in such situation you can use the while loop all right and also we are going to see for in and for of loop those are again very very powerful loops so i'm going to show you but before that let's do this so while i uh, less than uh, birth year dot length okay and what we want to do is that we are going to do this so this is the bracket of loop so this is the whole loop of while so calculating age and all this stuff is happening and finally at the end what are you going to do is that we are doing i plus plus and definitely i need to declare the i here so i'm going to do say let let i equal to zero here we go and let's see so you see the output is same so you just change the loop but but the output remains same all right pretty good now you understand how to write while loop and how you can you know the structure of while loop again if you want to practice it more you can join my coding exercise video where we will deal with all these things uh, you know with a more practical example now we are going to learn about the for in loop for in loop and for in loop guys is very very important in service now development as well when we will deal with scripting in integration so there we are going to use for in loop and you would find it so powerful there right so now uh, let me quickly show you with an example for in loop specially used in the object okay and in the array as well also the most popular in the array is the for off loop but for in loop also can be used and it is also very very useful inside of array i will tell you because some of the things you are not able to do with the help of the for off loop but you can do it with the help of for in loop right now how to uh, use in 
it is in object i'm not going to show you because i've not uh, discussed about object yet that i'm going to do it and i'm going to show you in that video also but we can simply do an example with the array so i think i have declared an array on the top so let h this array so i'm going to use it and we know that okay i'm going to copy the whole thing that how we have done it with the for loop okay then only you would understand how it's different so i'm going to make it available so i want to save it and you see okay there is some error okay so the age is clashing with the previous uh, function so maybe i'm going to change the name uh, i'm going to give it to the uh, real age or something like that i don't know and i'm just going to copy it to here and in here okay so it's a simple for loop and we have done it previously also so all of the array elements are printing so you see to print the all the array element we declare initialize the value of i in the for loop that we know that then we put the condition then we increment the value of i and we print it on the console right now the same thing we will do it with the help of the for in loop for in so i'm going to write for same thing bracket and now here what i need to do is that in for in loop what we need to do we need to mention a key first any variable you can choose we can choose i also or any variable so let me choose i and space here what we need to do we need to write in and then the name of the array which is the real age now what this line will do this i actually this i is nothing but the index of the array so it will go each and every element of the array right each and every element of the array until the last element so we don't need to mention any condition that up to which it will go because it would automatically uh, do the iteration uh, you know based on the size of the array you'd see that i'll just quickly show you so that's it and i'm gonna print it like console dot log and here i'm going to print like i if i just simply print i to show you if i is the index or not i'll refresh it you see the value of i is coming 0 1 2 3 4 so we know this is the index now if i want to print uh, if i want to see the number the actual element of the array simply i'm going to put real edge in front of it and i'll make it like this that's it i'm going to save it and refresh it you see it is coming with the help of for in loop right so maybe i'm gonna put it on console so i'm gonna put it on console so that you understand it better and so i'm gonna put it like this okay now if i refresh so with the help of for in loop you see okay and we are gonna also gonna use this for in loop inside of it uh inside of this storage storage function but before that i'm gonna show you for off loop so i'm gonna print it up so I'll just copy with the help of for off loop this is another powerful loop for in loop specially used for the object and also in the array as well so the strong programmer you would become the more you would use this kind of uh, you know shortcut or not shortcut actually this kind of function which would make your work very easy right so quickly i'll show you for off loop so same thing it's pretty simple i'm doing the same example for i instead of in i'll write off and uh, same time real h same array same thing i'm gonna do that is the log and here i'm gonna print real edge and then i that's it simple now you would see here okay now i'm not gonna print real edge i what i'm gonna do is that instead of that i'm gonna print just i so you know that previously when we did that for for in loop i as a for in loop and then we get the index number but you would see here what happens i'll refresh it it is coming from with the help of the for of loop and directly the value is printing even you don't need to print the name of the array and then the i right so here i is working as directly value or the element in the uh, array real edge it is not the index number but it is directly the value so it is more easy more less writing and you can simply iterate now it's just the idea how you are going to use it uh, again you can join my coding exercise video for practice so now what i'm going to do is that i'm here in this calculate edge function okay 
I am going to use it this for in loop so I'll just make a you know comment of all this line it's become messy okay so I miss something okay so it is there all right so now here we go so the same thing I'm going to do it uh, it was I did it on while loop so I will do instead of while loop I'm going to do it with the help of for in loop so for maybe I uh, in birth year okay this is a in I'm showing you so let me put it on off birth year and then that's it let's rest the same if I refresh it and print it you can see the value is coming as not a number not a number because this is directly accessing the element we want to I mentioned here it would access the now here we are storing the age in the age variable based on the value that we are passing for the first time for then for the second time and this is accepting here so simply I can solve this with the help of I in so there is a for in sorry I in but there again you can put any name this is again just a name if I refresh it you see the right the same answer is coming so simply I was written while loop here and lot of the other things I have done so also this I++ is not required so you know that in for in loop we don't need that same output is coming so the for in loop is very very powerful to deal with the array where you don't need to initialize the value don't need to mention the condition even don't need to increment the value right so this is very very powerful guys for in loop and I would request you to practice a lot right uh, this for in and for off this is very very powerful I hope you got the idea guys if you like the video hit the like button if you have any comment ask me in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in my next video bye bye take care